the police. I want to see what happens. Come. Morning, excuse the hair. I've been editing and haven't showered yet. I'm just going up for the first time today. I actually haven't been out here. If you watched yesterday's vlog, you know my my uh, my voice is going. It's a bit later during the day, and I actually haven't come to the driver yet. But this is the most empty it has been in a very long time. Is this? That's uh, that's a light, mate. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Red. Good to see you. Yeah. So the first goal of today is to clean this. I thought, like, usually when I come up here, I'm surprised and there were sort of random cars. Today, nothing. I went to sleep last night, there were three. They're gone now. Anyways, this car this is, is filthy. Technically, yesterday, we went up to the mountains. There was snow, there was a bit of salt on the roads, and the car is now, I mean, it Met. is Met. just ridiculous. Look at that. However, time constraints do mean that I need to go get ready and I need to shower and all that stuff. So do you mind if I leave the camera with you? Oh, really? Yeah, he's going to do a bit of a takeover and show us how you would take care of a Ferrari. <laughs> it's not too bad, right, for the family cruiser? Natural aspirated, never too bad. You have everything you need, you got two buckets, you got shampoo, you got this to rub the car with, you got the water gun, you got the car. Can you teach my subscribers? Here, grab the camera. It's all you. Welcome to the proper tutorial. I'll see you in a bit. I'm gonna go get ready. First, make sure you have proper clothing. Not like me, with good shoes, good pants. If you have sand on your car, dirt on the car, first wash it off with water because otherwise you damage the paint of the car. And we don't want to damage the paint of the Kelly. So first we're gonna remove all the sand. Wait, let me adjust the pistol. Okay, we have proper pressure. Step two, shampoo. Whatever you're gonna use for the shampoo, make sure to clean it because there might be sand inside. Perfect. Get the shampoo and start on the roof. And why on the roof? Because that's the best way the water can fall down so that the car actually becomes more clean. Okay, Kelly cleaned. Let's, uh, let's have a look where Seb is. Let's see his first reaction. Yup. Yeah. Nearly ready. Are you <laughs> done? You ready for our first impression? Yeah? Let's roll. Let's see. To How take... is this gone? Ooh. Oh. oh god. <laughs> that was so close. Man, it looks good. So much cleaner. She's still a bit wet, eh? Oh, you legend. Yeah, but of course. But in the sun, the thing is you'll never be able to do it. Perfect. How much better does it look now? It was so dirty. Should we head down into town and try and explore? Yeah, let's go down. Let's so, go down. For now, I guess California clean. Check. Thank you so much. As per usual, it is absolute chaos. Oh, look at this. That's a Porsche Spider. That's very cool. Anyways, you can tell there are lots of very cool cars driving around. However, we figured we might as well go to the show because we haven't been yet. So Top Marks is a car show in Monaco. Officially. Officially. I'll explain a bit more of the setup of how that works and stuff once you park the car. A few Rolls Royces and then inevitably one of Rana's cars just chilling out. He's actually got a lot of cars here. Oh, there's a P1. Sorry, are we both vlogging? Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can tell if it will focus in my rearview mirror. I've just seen an F40 and Countach. That's Raul, RM Autosport, a friend of ours, who happens to be behind as well. There are so many cars and spotters in town. It's insane. Rana seems to be following us. There's another one of his cars here. His R8 is here now with the Capristo. But look at the amount of car spotters. That is insane. They're just everywhere. The lineups outside the hotels. I mean, we got Aventador. This one was with us yesterday, very, very loud. Speciali, GT3 RS, 509 GT, oh, that is so nice. R8, another Aventador, Performante, there's so many cars. GT2 RS, oh my god, that is stunning. Wow. This is the first time I see one properly up close in the flesh. We got a facelift to GT3 as well. This is so, there are just so many cars. They're pushing that spider we saw earlier now. Doesn't seem to be doing too well. So we've made it to Top Marks. We're outside the Top Marks show, but I haven't been in the show yet. Everyone's been asking me, why haven't you gone in? I don't actually know any of the cars that are inside. I haven't really looked online. And the, what happens at Top Marks, Top Marks Week, is most of what goes on that's interesting for us to film happens outside Top Marks. 
So people don't really go into the show that much. I figured might as well just go in to like look around quickly, but most of the interesting stuff happens outside with all of the drives and everyone just bringing their cars around the show. But now we had an hour free and we've got some tickets, so we we're like, why not go in and check it out? First walk in, there's just a lot of like jewelry and watches, sort of like luxury lifestyle type things. You love watches, don't you? Yeah. So this is kind of your area. Yeah. For um, sure. But yeah, lots of cool companies here. Yeah, I saw Tag Heuer around the entrance, so always cool to see them. We're in the water tour. Toys, the luxury water toy section right now there are so all of these you know when you walk around a stand and you're like I want everything here sadly I, I have yet to Amrit can you can you let's this sounds like a good deal I'll take care of buying the water toys if you buy the yacht how's that yeah yeah, yeah sick cool let's that's a plan <laughs> Okay, this is the show. As you can tell, it's really not that big. There's one hall. This is classic Top Marks. Is there are some pretty quirky random cars that you don't really see anywhere else. So I mean, right, I have no clue what this is. That has some sort of like Morgan vibe going on. I actually nearly wrapped my Lotus in a similar sort of paint job color to that. Look, this is the Arash. Looks kind of funky. I like the doors a lot. You you have any information? No, I mean, I mean, this is pretty 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 yeah. abstract, well, pretty random. Let's look around. See what what's. Why is there a Lada? Like the third car you see when you get here. Find a Russian guy and ask him. I'm very confused right now. This show has changed a lot over the years. Rentec, so these are very, very cool. AMG GTR Rentec. I actually really like these little canards right here. Those look really nice. How is this possible? I've been here like five minutes and I've already lost Amrit and this place is tiny. I found him, finally. He was walking around all over the place. It did give me a chance to look at some of the cars around. So basically there are lots of just pretty random cars, lots of tuna cars. Is that the supercharger? Yeah, should be, yeah. That is insane. And that, I mean, that's going to be fun on speed bumps, isn't right it? Way, right way. This, on the other hand, I really like my phone is ringing it's mr jww this is stunning this oh i'm getting he's calling me again what does james want brabus always very cool this is this is goals right here 800 horsepower oh street gas and this would be a perfect street gas car we got this the tushek this is a new hybrid which they've done and i mean is just i think it looks really good and these guys were always nice with me. The TS900 Apex. They were always so, so kind to me when I was like a young little kid. One of the first videos I ever did was with them, so I have a real soft spot for these. I think they are beautiful. This is cool though. The 4C, pimped out 4C. I think that looks really nice. That is a huge Patrick, wing. Yeah, Patrick, who we saw earlier, he has this 4C. Huge wing. Carbon finish, very nice. You know one car I really want to see? Try and guess. The Lotus. Yes. <laughs> How did you know? Is that Am I really good to talk about? No it? way. Is that your Kia? There's the Kia. Is that the... is literally. No way. It was well, not mine. Yeah, of course. My this, specific this is the Kia car, but from the videos. This is the exact same Kia, the Stinger GTS that I have, and next to it is the Lotus. That's my dream Lotus, basically. This could be a cool two-car garage. This GT430. They only made 60 of these worldwide. They are epic, epic cars, 430 brake. They weigh nothing, carbon everywhere. Look, they've added these new louvers for this one, new front splitter and carbon, the rims, there's a huge wing. Look at all of the carbon, it's basically, ah, oh, oh, so sexy. I love this, and obviously you guys know I have a soft spot for, uh, for Lotus. How much is this? Oh, Jesus. Let's go home, let's that's go 160,000. We go home. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> let's forget about that, that's, a, that's an expensive car. You saw le this legend? Oh yeah, GT4T. There, there he goes. Right, I feel like we're the last people here. Yeah. <laughs> but at least we looked around the show. It's a strange show, eh? It's not very big, is it? No, but it's like a mixture. We need to go. <laughs> okay, we gotta go. The show is now closed. Have a good evening. See you tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. That's, that's not what Krapovich was made for. It's starting to get a bit dark. All of the others are driving around. We're gonna see if we can see any cool cars. Ooh, can you see that in the background? There's a mint BMW M3. I actually. I love that color, mint. Justin Bieber has an Aventador in that color. I think it looks sick. Anyways, let's see, just sort of walking back to our car if we see any supercars, I have a good feeling. Yeah, I mean, even just telling you guys this. We've now got an M6. There's a 4C behind. Hi, how are you? That's pretty cool. M3, then a 911. Yeah, I feel like we're going to see a few cool cars. Funky wrap on this M6 cab right here. It's quite something. Baller. Look at the <laughs> I'm not going to say what he just said, but all I'll say is he was zoning out on something which was not a vehicle. There is a ton of like M3s, uh, M4s, 
uh, like RS5s, those types of cars, like German hot hat, hot, they're not hot hatches, no, no, saloons, sport cars, sports cars, yeah. a lot of sports tuned cars. sports cars. This is a classic spot to stop at. As you can tell, there are a lot of car spotters already. Oh, Mustang. Oh, that is a bold move with the way the police is being yeah, at the yeah. moment. Things are pretty insane here. We've got an Aventador SV, and then right behind it, Aventador Roadster, and they're not even together. Oh, 599, that's marvelous. I feel like this is a good spot. Oh, we got another M3. One in every three cars is worth filming. GT3. As I say that, no focus camera. There we go, GT3. Oh, Gallardo. Yes, yes. It's actually insane how many cars there are. The police are present, which is not very surprising. Look at this, we got, first of all, we got Donze just chilling. And then we've got a Huracan, a Mercy Lago SV. This was on the drive with us yesterday. In case you missed it, Mercy SV, that is so sick. Oh, Turbo S. One, two, three, four, oh, and then GT3. Oh, F12, they're everywhere. Off he goes. Oh, and there's a 4C again. We have been stood here for not even five minutes. No, no. And that, there's the GT3. Literally not even five minutes. And all the last clips you've just seen. They're all from the last five minutes, which is ridiculous. Doesn't that look awesome? Yeah. Black. Isn't that a cool Black. car? Blacked Black. out. Another Lotus. That's sick, actually. I think that's a, yeah, that's a 220 cup. Those are very nice, very expensive. First of all, here's an R8, but we were just talking about. When I started car spotting, I used to stand literally right here, and I would spend hours, and there was no one. Like, there was not a single, this is, what, like seven years ago? You were like Monopoly. Yeah, there was no one else here. And now, cool. oh, ça va? Very humbling to think that we used to car, yeah, we used to car spot here completely alone, and then now, look at this. First of all, this sounds kind of crazy. There's the Lotus. Minimum but, yeah. 550 cars per day. Minimum. Yeah, in this spot. Min and then yeah. there's more just up the street right there. More casino. It's insane. Look, people, if people run, you know what's going on. Oh, there's something cool. Oh, there's a 918. 918. Oh, and a lap. Can you see it? So, you're actually the veteran. I guess, but I haven't done this in a while, so I think I've lost my veteran status from having not done it. I wouldn't mind the laugh coming around here. Yeah. Facelifted GT3. Yeah. I want you so much. Here we go, here's, here's another one, literally. It's 30 seconds, okay, not even one. 30 seconds. The first one or the blue one? I think this blue one. Oh look, there's another one there as well. This is the one though. If it has sports seats, no, it has comfort seats. Oh, hello, hello, hello. That's very nice. Look at that, camo 918. noise everywhere even more car spotters everywhere this is ridiculous this is what the community is all about this is very nice by the way look at this yeah this was with us in Holland yeah they're back they are back and the laugh 720 now literally three cars behind the laugh I can't get over this one how many cars there are but mainly just how many car spotters there are it just keeps going all the way and at Casino Square it's the same thing and in the tunnel there's hundreds of them. This is amazing. And a GT2 as well as another 918. Yep, 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 that's right. That is a cool two car convoy. There goes the 599 GTO. Off he goes. Stand. Off they go. Good luck on the rally. Hope the cars will help them um, get past the mean streets of Monaco. Performante. That's very nice. Is he going to give it some? Oh, and then we got another hurricane right next to it. It's quite a cool wrap, actually. Dirty finish camo. Oh, and AMG GTS right there. Aventador Roadster. Very nice. And another Aventador. It's a Roadster as well. But then also, just casually, a 918. Lost for words for how many cars there are around. Even you, you live here. Yeah, I live here and I'm, I'm lost for words. Technically, I used to live here. More on that coming very soon. I'm going to do a whole video very soon explaining my living situation. Because I know it's been confusing. Also, another 720S. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. The Zenvo. That is quite the beast. This has a wing which will go from side to side depending on the uh, steering angle. Absolute madness. We've now switched to some in-car spotting. We're gonna see if we can see anything, but we figured we might as well take the car, drive around for a bit. We're waiting for others for dinner. 
see what we see and then sort of take it from there. Purple Mante, that's the first in-car spot. GTR, that's the second. That's pretty mental. Oh. <laughs> this is insanity. We are completely Come surrounded in. now of people. <laughs> A Ventador right there as well. <laughs> we parked up and we decided to come back because there was such a big crowd. We were like, we can't miss this. There's such a good atmosphere. So we were like, we want to be part of that. We want to go play. Yep, yep, oh yep. my God. That is the middle of the street. We're going to try and wiggle our way through the crowd. There we go. Here's a, here's a supercar first one since we come back. I feel like this is like a scene out of Fast and Furious. Yeah, because it's dark. Yeah, it's dark. Tudor cars. Tudor cars, exactly. I don't know if I should be uh, condoning this, but I'm just saying, you know. Oh! But you know, it's happening whether we're here or not, so we might as well enjoy it. This is insane. <laughs> Cheeky John Olsen type vibe. 599 GTO. I want to see him do a burnout. Yeah. That would be cool. That is very nice, baby blue. Here's the police. <laughs> this is like a riot. Yeah, yeah. I want to see what happens. Come. <laughs> the worst is it's a friend of ours' car. Buck has a little doll with the finger. Oh, he has a gnome doing the middle yeah. finger. And suddenly, he pulled him up and the crowd went nuts. That's what happened. I knew something had happened, oh. but I wasn't too sure. There's now a traffic jam of cars revving. This guy likes a little rev. And on that jolly note, we ended up driving home. We're gonna have some late, late dinner. We got the California there and the speciality right there. Thank you for watching. As per usual, today was insanity in Monaco. Uh, someone's having a party, one of my neighbors somewhere. But yeah, thanks for watching as always. Please remember to subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you very, very soon. Cheers, guys. Hey. Let's go. Hey, hey, Bet. Hey,